okay let's look at a question here a 8 bit successive type analog to digital converter has a resolution of 20 millivolt what will be the digital output for va is equal to 2.17 volt okay so input is given to you resolution is not 1 volt now you are having 20 millivolt and it is asking uh, digital output for your 8 bit successive type analog to digital converter so one thing is you can see is directly you can calculate the conversion time that is 8 into t clock right because 8 is the number of bits and that is fixed and constant does not depend upon the input so that is uh, one thing another thing is <coughs> if you will see uh, whatever approach i showed you uh, for calculating the output if i'll do in this case what will happen 8 bits will have q7 to q0 right initially they will be zero then each of them i have to set uh, first this guy i will check then this guy i will check this guy this guy this guy this guy this guy this guy likewise for eight clock cycle and this becomes very tedious right uh, it is not uh, a good approach it takes too much time and it's it's uh, it's not uh, good for especially for good for a uh, competitive exams okay where you have to calculate the answers in just few minutes so what is a better approach is better approach is you take the resolution and you uh, take the input voltage and you calculate something called number of steps see by doing this approach you will be able to get the answer but the problem is it takes too much time right uh, first clock cycle then second clock cycle third clock cycle likewise i have to go for eight clock cycles to say to see uh, uh, the bits arrangement okay but and also the resolution is not to one volt you have to always calculate the output of the, of the DAC uh, that is 20 millivolt into the uh, the digital equivalent uh, sorry uh, decimal equivalent of your output of SAR that's why it's not feasible so there is a, a shorter way you can see you calculate something called number of steps that will be whatever the uh, input uh, voltage is given to you that is 2.17 volt divide by the resolution you will do millivolt right what will be the output it will be something around 108.5 these many steps will be required uh, uh, means like uh, you can think of it as the the uh, the decimal equivalent will be required so around 108 or 109 so let's see the output now so if uh, you will calculate the uh, uh, vx <coughs> or dac value for this uh, 80 one, uh, 108 what will happen 108 into if you will do the resolution this is the resolution this is the decimal equivalent okay first i calculated the number of steps so that i'll get uh, the the rough idea where the my decimal equivalent should be so first time checking for 108 for this what you are getting is uh, 2.16 volt right close enough let's say vx is equal to for 109 20 millivolt for this you will get 218 volts now the input is in between right between these two guys so which one you will choose your as successive approximation type will always give you the lower one either equal to or lower one that's why uh, your answer for this uh, will be 108 okay digital output will be just calculate the 108 uh, in binary uh, you will have um, what 010 uh, 1100 uh, right you can do that 2 to the power 0 2 to the power 1 2 to the power 2 2 to the power 3 power 2 here i will do uh, okay so you got the first i i will show you uh, but first i want to explain it this is the most important i got the rough idea where my decimal equivalent should be so by dividing uh, va divided by resolution i saw that it is coming around 108.5 so i checked for 108 as well as 109 it is coming in between whatever my uh, output uh, uh, your input to 17 is so what could be the digital output either this guy or this guy right uh, yeah. so the, it will choose only the lower one successive uh, approximation type uh, converter so this is how you can calculate directly okay without doing these steps so 
calculate the number of steps see where the uh, most closest one it is to the input uh, voltage uh, and if there is a uh, equality you can see one less and one uh, more then you choose the lesser one that's why this guy is there so 108 i can show like this so this is uh, 2 to the power 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 5 6 this comes out to be 4 plus 8 plus 32 plus 64 right so 64 plus 32 plus 8 plus 4 uh, 8 9 10 18 uh, 6 7 8 9 at 108 this is 108 so this is your output digital output so you saw that how i calculated uh, in a different way uh, rather and i skipped this method what i showed you this will also work but it will take a lot of time but this you can see within few minutes you were able to do it okay so that's how you should calculate the output of successive type uh, analog to digital converter okay let's see another example here so digital output you have to calculate for 4 bit sar adc with vr is equal to 8 volt and va is equal to 4.17 volt okay so let's see uh, first i will tell you the uh, uh, the uh, normal approach which i which i uh, did uh, during the explanation of sar and uh, because it is a 4 bit it is doable for me in the previous question it was 8 bit i was not able to do it so here first thing you can see um, vr is given so k you can calculate that is 8 volt divided by 2 to the power 4 right so that is comes out to be 0.5 right 1 divided by 16 is 0.5 now your vx your vx will be equal to 0.5 into whatever the decimal equivalent of decimal equivalent of sar okay right now uh, you can do that same thing uh, for example let's say you have q3 q2 q1 q0 so these are initially 0 0 0 0 right when first clock pulse will come this guy becomes one rest of them will be zero now you have to check whether it has to be one or zero so you have this um, sar value will be one zero 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 right that is eight so eight into 0.5 is four volt and uh, you can see it is 4.17 so let's say first let let me write it vx is equal to 4 watt for first clock cycle okay vx uh, you can calculate vx is 0.5 into decimal equivalent is 8 right so that comes out to be 4 volt now similarly so you can see 4 volt is 4.17 this is 4 volt so this has to be uh, uh, one only right so here in next clock cycle this will be set now this guy we will uh, look at okay or let me use black pen so that you will get much more clarity right zero 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 now this guy will be set in the next clock cycle and from here you got to know that this will be one now we are checking for this guy so what is your sar value one one zero zero right uh, 8 9 10 11 12 12 12 volt 12 volt if you divide it by uh, 2 you'll get 6 volt so vx is equal to 6 volt for second clock cycle <coughs> sorry you can see here uh, yeah similarly uh, so so you can see this is 6 volt this is 4 volt so this is not 1 it has to be 0 so third clock cycle what will happen this guy will be fixed at one this guy will be fixed at zero and uh, this guy will be now one and last guy is zero right so now we are checking for one zero one zero so one zero one zero is what 10 volt 10 volt 10 volt is again greater so this guy has to be zero right one zero zero then we have to check for this guy last Right, fourth clock cycle here you have what vx is equal to 10 volt for third clock cycle right now vx for last clock cycle is 1001 what is 1001 that is 9 right so 9 volt 
again 9 volt is uh, greater than VA so this has to be 0 this has to be 0 this has to be 0 this has to be 1 uh, right so this is what here it was uh, I think uh, I did some mistake uh, okay 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 I did what right 10 uh, I compared with 10 it has to be 10 into half right that is 5 volt 5 volt if you will see that comes out to be a 0 only yeah this is correct now last guy if you have to check this is 9 volt 9 volt divided by 2 is 4.5 volt that is fourth clock cycle and this will be 5 volt right uh, fourth clock cycle 4.5 is greater again so this has to be zero right so your answer is what one zero 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 this is your digital output right so this is the approach what we have done right now again the second approach will be by um, number of steps let me do it again number of steps you calculate so first you have to calculate the resolution right resolution is we are divided by 2 to the power n that is 8 divided by 2 to the power 4 that is 0.5 right now you calculate the the steps number of steps that comes out to be 4.17 volt divided by 0.5 0 let's select so that it will get even right uh, so uh, you calculate the do the uh, math i mean 417 divided by 50 it will be right if i cancel so this comes out to be 41.7 divided by 5 5 is 40 1 5 3 15 16 17 204 right 8.34 is coming it's somewhere around 8 uh, or 9 so let me check for uh, output for um, uh, vx for 8 volt 8 decimal equivalent 8 into resolution this comes out to be 4 volt and vx for 9 if i'll check this uh, comes out to be uh, 4.5 volt right so which is, which va is close to this guy right so directly i can write this 8 in decimal this is your digital output right you can see that smaller one uh, is close to smaller one right this is the larger one so that is how you can calculate directly without doing that process just have to calculate the number of steps it will be around this guy you have to check and uh, 4.17 this is 4 volt much closer right uh, compared to this guy so your output will be 1000 so this is how you can do it directly and uh, it won't take a lot of time okay so uh, there is one more way you can calculate the output of success successive type uh, analog to digital converter that is called bisection method now when it is helpful you can see here an example uh, sar adc of 8 bit vr is equal to 5 volt uh, find the digital output after three clock pulse okay for v is equal to 3.5 volt you can see now you have to make that thing right you can't use this number of steps technique because that will give you final output but here they are asking the digital output after three clock cycles how you gonna calculate it number of steps method will be failed right and if you do the normal method standard method it will take a lot of time because eight bits are there you know so there is a middle way that is called bisection method and this is how it is calculated you make the range zero to vr you make a range a zero to five and mark the half of it that is 2.5 now you see where your VA is lying if it is lying is this in this range your first bit MSB bit will be 1 if it is lying in this range it will uh, it will be 0 okay so if you have like this so here it is 1 and here it is 0 that is how it is uh, checking whether the first bit will be 1 or 0 here you can see between 0 to 5 this is the center point after center point 3.5 lies that's why this bit is 1 now you take this range and you expand it so 2.5 to 5 you have center guy is 3.75 you can see the center of these two is 
3.75 now where is your va is lying va is lying in this side right so this bit has to be zero that is how you are checking the next bit again you take these two guys here 2.5 and 3.75 calculate the center of it 3.125 if it is lying in this range the third bit will be one if it is in this range it will be zero so 3.5 lies here it is one so this will be your answer okay so that is how you can calculate easily you can see uh, it didn't took much time if you want to go even further you have to calculate for you if you want to calculate for this fourth bit you can go far but this this much approximation is fine you can go to next uh, uh, fourth bit as well but that will not create a much of a, a difference okay so this you can carry on uh, you don't have to go till the last bit um, maybe within one bit you will be able to get the answer okay so that is another approach i wanted to tell you bisection method it is called as so you take zero to vr calculate the center of it and you see where va is lying the next step is like this and then like this so next bit next bit next bit this is how you are calculating so total eight bits are there and you are starting from msb and this is your digital output now okay uh, and this is another approach i wanted to tell you and uh, you have seen two three approaches uh, different approaches uh, for calculation of output of uh, a successive type adc you will be able to get it the output uh, in the in the uh, till last if you will go much more precise output you will get if you will keep on doing it uh, next bit next bit next bit next bit but that that is not required that much and plus also it is asking for only three clock pulse so this is your first clock pulse then second this is third clock pulse this is the answer okay but you can go till last you can keep on doing this stuff till last and you will be able to get much more precise answer but that will increase the calculation as well so since they are asking for a specific number of clock pulse that this approach will be very helpful that is what i'm trying to say so these are the ways you can calculate the output of sar adc i think uh, i have done with it uh, i'll be do going for now next adc that is called dual slope integrating type